And this is the NMU webcam looking towards downtown Marquette in a time lapse. We'll start you off this morning. We did have some cloud cover and then the sun broke on through and actually it turned into a pretty good sunny day, but we did have a cold front approach and Surprisingly, it came over some good dry air here and watch what happened there. This was around four o'clock here. Visibility just went down to nothing and there was a good downpour around four o'clock, but then it cleared right back up and by 530 we were back to blue clear skies. All right, let's fire up our max computer here. This is our local three radar network here and you can see over the past 12 hours we had some rain move through the south central UP and along US 2 from Rapid River towards Manistique and into the eastern and UP with the dry air in place. Some of this didn't reach the ground. And then we had some spotty rain showers develop along the front. And like I said, kind of surprising with the dry air that was in place today that those got going, but those quickly faded away. And now we're just left with dry conditions as we move into the 11 o'clock Eastern, 10 o'clock Central hour. Temperatures are cooling off. We're already down into the upper 50s along the Michigan, Wisconsin border across the Western UP. Elsewhere, we got temperatures in the 60s but the bigger story, look at this drier air moving on in. We got dew points down into the 40s. That means dry air is here and it is comfortable. As we look at our high temperature today, officially at the Weather Service in Nagani Township, 78 was today's high. 60 was the low. Downtown Market at the U.S. Coast Guard, 79 was today's high. 62 was the low. And the Weather Service in Nagani Township picked up 15 hundredths of an inch of rain. High temperatures today, upper 70s to lower 80s. And as we look at our future weather here, we're dry for the rest of the night and turning chilly in some inland areas. Look for some inland spots to fall back into the 40s near the shoreline. So the Great Lakes look for lows tonight around the 50 degree mark or the 50s for the daytime on Friday. The clouds may pick up the pace, maybe some spots get a bonus shower here, but otherwise we're looking at temperatures in the 60s and 70s across the UP tomorrow. Your warmest spots will be in the south central UP. Then as we go into tomorrow night into Saturday morning, another chilly one for some inland areas with spots there falling into the 40s. And then for your Saturday afternoon, bright, beautiful sunshine, I think high temperatures across the UP will be in the 70s. Our in-house computer model with a weak disturbance moving on through here Saturday night into Sunday is trying to get some rain showers going, but I do think with an area of high pressure, that's going to be the dominant weather feature. We should remain dry, but don't be surprised if a rain shower gets going. Otherwise, by the time we get to Sunday, we're back to the warm temperatures. So as we look at our future winds here, the winds may pick up just a little bit as we go into tomorrow afternoon. Could have some gustier winds out of the west to perhaps northwest over 20, maybe over 30 miles per hour. So cooler temperatures for Friday is what's ahead and then chilly inland temperatures for tonight night and also tomorrow night, but this is a little bit of a brief cool down. We're warming back up for Sunday and then dry weather with above average temperatures for most of next week. Here's your extended forecast for your UP community, Marquette, Marquette County. We're looking at temperatures the next two days as you go inland in the 70s. And I think most Marquette County spots on Saturday make it into the 70s. And then we got that warm up coming in for Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. For the eastern UP, we're looking at temperatures as you go inland around 70. Otherwise expect temperatures tomorrow in the 60s. But then we're into the 70s for Saturday, into the 80s we go, especially inland for Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. For Delta County and Escanaba, we'll see temperatures in the 70s for both tomorrow and Saturday. Then we're into the 80s for Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. For the interior west and along the Michigan-Wisconsin border, we got temperatures in the 70s for your Friday, and then another chilly one tomorrow night into Saturday morning. Saturday's nice, and then we're warming it back up for Sunday, Monday, and also Tuesday. Keweenaw Peninsula, we're looking at temperatures that will be in the 70s as you go inland, especially well inland for tomorrow. 70s for everyone, I think, on Saturday, and then warming up into the 80s for Sunday, Monday, and also Tuesday. Weather anytime, head to our WJM and Local 3 app, also online at upmatters.com or on Facebook as well. WJM and TV and our 906 Weather Watchers page. Jake, we'll send it back to you.